Here we are in Mr. Irwin's room. The bell's gone, the kids have gone home, but physics never stops. And here, practicing his more physics is... Alright, my name's Tiersman, how are you doing? Alright. I've just come back from extinction to uh, help you with some of your physics revision. So, what I'm going to do is just show you a few demonstrations that I want you to explain to me. Alright. Okay. Okay. Have a look at this. What do you think? Rawr. Rawr. In this next clip, I want you to look for how static electricity is produced and how it might cause a problem. Make sure you use all your scientific key terms in your explanations. Okay. Good morning, nurse. How are we today? Fine, thank you. Is everything all right with you? What have we got on today? Uh, oh, sorry, what? Oh, a simple appendectomy. Right, fantastic. And how old is the patient? I'm sorry? 65 million years old. Have you been drinking again, nurse? Have you? Have you been drinking? Well, all right. Well, well I'll believe it when I see it, if you don't mind. Okay, let's just get everything sorted. Okay, I'll meet you in the OR. Hello nurse, yes, can you just wheel the patient in now please, I'm more or less ready. Well, it's, uh, oh, I just seem to have forgotten my, uh, my scissors here, that I, I carry with them everywhere where I go. Yes, lovely, I'll need the scissors. Oh, yes, and of course, uh, the glue stick, just to put the appendix back together. Lovely, okay, here we go. Is everybody ready? Anesthesia, okay, lovely. And we all have a stable pulse, nurse, lovely. Okay, I'm going to make the first decision now. So, how did you do? Let's have a look. Stop. Here you can see. That the belt on the Van de Graaff goes round and it takes charge up to the top. Because the plates are touching it, they get the same charge. So they start to repel and that means push you away from each other. Okay. When they drop the paper on this one, it uh, gets attracted to the charge on the Van de Graaff. That's because the paper is neutral, it means it's got no charge. It's got the same number of positives and negatives in it. So neutral objects are attracted to the charged objects. The thing is though, when it hits the Van de Graaff, because it touches it, it gets the same charge. And when it gets the same charge, it repels just like before. All right. That Van de Graaff is all charged up. We say it's a high potential. I'm not charged, so I'm neutral. So I'm at a low 
Oh, zero potential. So, there's a potential difference between the two objects. If the potential difference is big enough, the charges will move, in this case, from the Van der Graaff to me. That's when I got a lucky shock. Okay. Nice one. Alright, did you figure out what's wrong in this one? Look at this buffoon. He's got a nice plastic apron on. And look at the way he's moving around. He's like a stegosaurus on heat. And look at them daft slippers as he moves up and down. The friction strips electrons from one material onto the other. So one object becomes negative, that's the one that gains the electrons, and one goes positive because it's lost the electrons. And remember, the electrons, they're negative. Now, because this Pratt is all charged up now, if he goes near anything, he's going to discharge. And look at that explosive anaesthetic on the table. It's just asking for trouble. Now when he moves that scalpel, if he discharges, then he's going to be a bit of a shock. As you can see there, that scalpel could go anywhere. And that poor patient is in big trouble when he gets a bad cut. Just about.